Hi. In the newspaper of January 16th, I read an article about the National Tulip Day. 10th year anniversary. I think I missed something. How come? I work in tourism, probably mostly in the summer. And time to discover what this happy day, the National Tulip Day, means. Let me take you along. We know the tulips in spring, decorating our gardens, tourist parks like the Keukenhof, the Hortusbulborum, or the Tulparei. That is all the end of April, depending on the colder or warmer winter. So why a National Tulips Day in the winter? It proves that every third Saturday of January, the season is open for the tulips that grow in greenhouses and that are ready to be cut and end up in our lovely homes. This festivity is a promotion for the tulip that has been known as a Dutch flower for so long. The organization is in the hands of TPN, Tulip Promotion Netherlands, and about 500 tulip growers are involved. These growers and breeders know that the tulip gives joy and they love to share that joy. Is it a Dutch flower? No, the wild tulip originates from the mountains of Kazakhstan. The Ottoman Empire brought it to Turkey in the 16th century. People visited it, they got the tulip as a gift, and that is also how the Dutch Carolus Clusius received the flower in 1593. He then was a professor at the Botanical Garden of Leiden. And that is where our Dutch tulips history starts. Ever heard of tulip mania? The tulip in the beginning of the 17th century was so wanted, was so popular, and the flowers were scarce and wanted by every layer in society. So the demand was high and the prices went up like crazy. People speculated. They bought the tulips from just a picture, um, from the so-called catalogue books, and then the bulbs were still on the ground for months, right? So they would see them only after the winter when the flower was blooming. And in the meantime, the bulbs may have been sold on paper a couple of times more. People make money, but there were many losers in the game. The prices of one tulip bulb could be the equivalent of the worth of an Amsterdam canal house. And especially the striped varieties were priceless, only to find out their rarity years later. It was a virus making those tulips unique. Now we have plenty of striped tulips, but they're now a genetically, genetically grown variety. The tulip mania was stopped as a forbidden trait by the government in 1637. Here you see a painting by Jan Breugel, the young one, and it was made in 1640 and it's called Tulipomania. And it shows as a satire the monkeys and the behavior in all the tulips. Um, in the bottom left, for example, you see a monkey studying uh, the price list of the tulips. Uh, in the middle, you see one weighing the tulip bulbs because often they were sold by, per weight. Uh, the bottom right, you see one urinating on tulips, really making the fun of it. Then next to that, another one offering tulips. A bit on the left there, again in the middle on the red table, they are doing the administration. And totally in the end, in the background on the right is a funeral. Not all ended well with this, uh, this game of, um, well, investing their money. Interesting and lovely painting, which is uh, in the possession of the Frans Hals Museum in Haarlem. And isn't it interesting that the tulips bulbs were once so expensive while my grandmother ate them in World War II because there was so much starvation going on. The tulips in my vase in winter. Yes, they come from a greenhouse. Now I know. And I always wonder why there were so many in the winter time. But most growers have their business in North Holland. In August and September, they put their bulbs in a cooling system to copy winter time. In our fall, the tulip bulbs are planted in the greenhouses and their artificial light and warmth imitate spring. Of course, the flowers grow and just before they're blooming, the tulips will be harvested. And after this cutting, they end up in our flower shops the supermarkets, the street markets, and mostly from the date of the third se uh, Saturday of January, that National Tulip Day. I suppose you notice as well that the tulips are suddenly everywhere available again. How do they exactly grow in the greenhouses? Well, greenhouses have a more and more modern way to operate their business, and the Dutch are trendsetters when it comes to innovation and sustainability. You may see nowadays a multi-level tulip flat three floors above one another. 
and often the space use is therefore 60% more efficient, the gas usage is reduced often by 50% and soil is not needed anymore, but the bulbs grow in water without chemicals. The energy use goes down every year, more so than in other flower businesses. Hmm, not too bad than those greenhouses. Tulips always seem to be a little different. While growers always have the favorite tulip species and do continue to develop new varieties. It takes a tulip breeder over 20 years to put a new tulip into the market. What he does is he has two species, he fancies, and there will be a cross-pollination. So the pollen of one tulip will be put on the pestle of the other tulip. The little bulbs will form then, go into the ground every time, every year, and they will give flowers only after six years. And of these hundred newborn tulips, only a few will pass the test to grow and become famous. They will be checked on color, like an orange tulip should always show already an orange bud and the flower should last a week inside the house. If not, the whole bunch will be disapproved of. When a new variety has been approved, they will start a process to grow larger quantities. And then after a few years, that new tulip is ready for the market, after, of course, an official baptism. The tulips may get different names, for example, after the daughter of the owner, the king, the queen, but if there is a person involved, that honored person should always approve of that name giving. Then registration follows. A name has to be unique and may not have been used before. How to treat a tulip in your house? Now, when you buy the tulip and they're wrapped in paper, you may leave them in that paper and put them in the water. This is what the experts say. So leave them wrapped in paper. The stems will then become fit again while taking in clean water. Never put the tulip next to the heating or in direct sunlight. Don't put them next to ripening fruit because the tulip will bloom faster as well. If you have a possibility during the night, put the flowers in a cool room and don't overcrowd the vase. The tulip stems love some space. And like here on the picture, if the stems are weak, a big vase will do the job and support them. Well, what happened with the National Tulip Day this year? It was a pretty sad anniversary, a 10 year anniversary with a proper title, Let's Connect. Normally there would be a tulip garden at a dam square in Amsterdam, but that did not happen due to COVID-19. There is a free pickup garden laid out on the dam square. More than 200,000 tulips are put out there by the volunteers. And this gives the city palace, the dam square, a very extra garden grandeur. It is free picking. So people line up sometimes for an hour, they get an organic bag and you're allowed to pick 20 tulips each. They often have the bulb still on there and you can cut them off at home or you leave the bulb on and put them in a little tiny layer of water. Last year, um, well, the people were all over from many, many countries, but this year then no pig garden. But they had 100 wonderful bouquets prepared to give out then the growers, some of them, like the one in Slootdorp, had a drive through where you could buy tulips and the first time again after winter. And they even gave you a map with directions to different roadside stalls of neighboring farmers. And as part of their promotion, the tulip always plays a very important role when the prize winning people stand up on stage of our national speed skating sport. The winners, they get tulips. On top of that, the Tulip Promotion Netherlands always has a tulip action where a person or an association is chosen that plays a very important role in society. That could be connecting people or bringing warmth, positivity and colors to others. And the focus of 2020 was to the foundation Make-A-Wish. And that is an organization that brings happiness to sick children already for 30 years. So what you see here that the new tulip of this year that was offered is baptized by two wish children. And uh, this tulip is called Tulipa Make a Wish. And let's hope that in 2022, the National Tulip Day will be a proper old normal day again on the Dam Square where a free pig garden of tulips will be set up. Bye.